one more time, Shadow and Bone. So we've been a little late, so I do apologize for that, but we've had a lot of things happening, you know, school, we had PAX East, but here we are finally figuring out and, and seeing how they're going to end this season. And I can say, you know, watching both seasons, obviously, uh, the second season is far better in my opinion. I'm definitely excited to hear what you guys have to say, but just the way I see things, just to, from what we've experienced, this season was a trip. It was just something else, and it just makes me so excited for what's to come for you know this story I, I don't know but I'm, just, I'm ready I'm excited and um, I expect this episode to be depressing considering the last few episodes have just been depression on top of depression and um, you know I, I don't know who might not make it out of this episode one person I do want to say I don't think David's making it out of this and you know obviously with the way his last appearance was in the last episode but on top of that um, you know, like, why, why keep a couple happy? It doesn't seem like they're gonna, that's the, this is the type of show to do that, you know? I mean, after we see the, the reunion with Jenya and, uh, and David, I just, I don't see them, you know, deciding that, that, that's what they want to do. So I expect them to, to be brutal and, uh, it's gonna be sad, but, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they, uh, handle just the last the last episode i don't know i'm i'm, I'm nervous but I, I we gotta watch it right it's been like i said we've been late but i didn't i do apologize but things have been crazy but i appreciate the patience uh we're gonna start uploading these to patreon now that they're on youtube so i do appreciate those who have been uh patiently waiting and uh, i'm just really excited to just finally be here and talk to you guys about it so go nuts talk to me in the comment section do not be shy and uh let's get busy shadow and bone And there we go, that's the last title card of the season. Don't you need it? I've got more experience with pain. <laughs> Alright. That's sad, but still. <laughs> ah, here we go, dude. Metal hinges. Just by Ah oh, man, I love that he's embracing it, dude. Well, I guess it worked. Fancy. My man. I mean, we have a lot of Oh, that's corny. Nina. So I'm assuming the breakout's not happening this season. <laughs> They're not actually doing this, bro. He gotta make it out of the season. I love you. Ha <laughs> ha Oh my god. There's no way! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, through this show. <laughs> oh, this is so much stuff, bro. <laughs> She's actually doing it. What the hell, man? No way. No way, dude. <laughs> she did it, bro. That's crazy. Oh, sheesh. Please. Please, dude. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, hurry. <laughs> Look at Kirigan, dude. How long still stand by you? There is no light without darkness. Man, this dude no is relentless. No save you. <laughs> oh shit. I will save myself. Oh! No way! <laughs> oh shit, dude. You can't control any of it. Man, fuck your hand. Oh. Once. Bro, you have the sword right next to you, dude. Fine, Pete. I can't believe this happened, dude. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna do it. <laughs> oh, man, let's hope this sticks. No pun intended. No, they will come for you. Oh no. Let them come. Let them try, pussy. 
Oh man. He made sure there is nothing left of me. Please. Um. Please. Okay, that's fair. He doesn't want to be an amplifier. And they're still kicking around. Oh no. Okay. Is that really it, bro? Oh no, dude. You'd have to use Mazost. Swear to me, you'll never use it. Oh my! See, I knew she was gonna end up using it, bro. Stop it! Stop it! What is she doing, dude? Oh no! Nina! Oh no, she knows. We'll burn him where he fell. Look at Nina. Honestly, I I don't know. I feel like that little that whole scene, the the whole you know, sequence of the uh, fold vanishing was kind of rushed. But I, I still enjoyed it, but still, it just feels like unreal that it's it, that it's done. You know. Hey, the crew. Ah, oh, look at you, bro. It's the finale. You gotta stop hiding. <laughs> True Han, who wanted you to build it. You can keep it safe. Oh, that's so dope. You need it, Santa Elena. Please, just Elena. <laughs> ah, she's so respectful. Saved. Ah, oh, <laughs> way to kill a moment. Again. We'll settle those thanks in gold. <laughs> Both the siblings are alive, wow. Hire a writer to jot down our story. What would we call it? The Crows. <laughs> the four charming rogues of Ketterdam. Oh man. Let's find Matthias too, he's next. We're not breaking Sorry, him out this episode, are we? I still don't know. But now. Now what, dude? I thought he was gonna say like I thought he was gonna leave or something. But like I gotta, I gotta go find myself or I don't know. Ending that happily ever after. And those who don't know how to find the way to one. Ah. Wait, could Nikolai give them like a pardon and get Matthias out of there? Or is that not how that works? Um, I don't know what this dude is gonna do next, man. I just want to feel something different. Oh no. Good. Oh no, dude. Gonna hurt. David, 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 David. Have you seen David? No. Can't feel his heartbeat. Oh my god, bro. If we don't see a body, he's not dead. It's that simple. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It feels like the end of the episode, but I'm sure there's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes left. We can sell our neighbors to the north will see us united and will aim to strike. Uh, all right, dude. It's not dude. the battle that takes the most from us, the aftermath. Yep. Full is gone. That's so Chance cool, dude. The pieces of when a firebird rises from the ashes, it is not the same. It's he knows what he did there. Purpose. 36 minutes left. Holy sh. Ah. Uh, I'm sure that meant something. I don't know what it meant, but I'm sure that B wasn't for no reason. This is your victory. Your chance to rebuild Ravka. And you? Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. Do you bro. really see yourself as the captain of my guard? Ah. Wanted to say goodbye. Oh my god, dude. What do you want, then? He's such a complicated dude. Come on, dude. To die buried under the weight of my own gold. Oh my god, he's so annoying. Stay. Oh shit. Stay in Ketterdam. <laughs> I want you to. I want. Ah. Uh... I want you. Finally, bro. <laughs> Ah, oh, this poor guy. Your head turned, so our lips never touch. Ah, uh, that was a big step too. So I give him that. 
just thinking about it made him uncomfortable. <laughs> oh man. Without you, oh my guess, Brett. I will not have you at all. Ah, uh, took me a while to come up with a nickname for you. But I think I finally found it. I really hope they call him the Firebird. Safe travels. <laughs> I'm not a captain. I don't have the right to be a <laughs> captain. Wait, what? When you wear the coat, then I need the Vault Boney's eye on other countries. Really? Tomorrow and Tolly are in command. Shall we? I think we shall. Really? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is going to be fun. Don't touch that. Ha ha ha. Ah. Welcome aboard. Moy star. You lost us. Who is that? Oh, he's gonna miss that. I'm so looking forward to, to more stories with them. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> the fold is gone. Oh, that's so dope, dude. Ah. Oh, look at him, bro! <laughs> it suits him! <laughs> oh, yo, this is so cool, man. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, dude. I can get a spin-off with just this crew and be satisfied. Yo, I, see, seeing shots like this gets me so excited for the One Piece show. <laughs> like, come on. Gotta love the music, too, man. Oh shit, here we go. There's no stopping this. Come on, dude. This was not the deal. No. No. Bro, what? Ah, ah that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Oh shit! Hey, here we go! This is definitely not gonna get him out of here, but still. I am clean. Oh no! What the hell, bro? No! 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 <laughs> Oh no! Ah, oh, that's a cool table. Claim to the throne might be called into question. Ah. Without being betrothed to the Sun Saint, you would not have made it this far. All I know is that Joffrey wouldn't have tolerated that kind of slander. Ah. Hey, what kind of secrets is he talking about? Oh no! Oh no! Man, we can't catch a break, bro. You're not gonna have them clink glasses and make us kiss for them, are you? <laughs> no. Well, that one's a mess. <laughs> if I could fix him. <laughs> the most lucrative job we've ever taken. All right, they're gonna make us wait to find out what that is. <laughs> uh, that's a cool cloak. It's a fancy ass crown. So the way you kind of flinched there. Am I supposed to recognize her? It does. Oh Could no! The destruction of the shadow. The hell is she doing? Like a spring picnic. It's a drug called Jerda Peron. Oh no! Highly addictive. If Grisha take it. Their power is amplified a thousand times over. No! The chemist who created it fled to Kirch once he'd realized what he'd done. Scared the fierda! Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> No, I don't like that look. I don't like that look whatsoever. Nope. Nope. I'm a little nervous and um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But season three, uh, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, in, I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, we, here we go. Shadow and Bone. There we go. We finished it. And uh, it was it was a fun little finale. I don't I don't know. I'm left with a lot more questions <laughs> than I am with. Oh, wow. That was cool. I'm just like, what the hell, man? Like, what, what are we doing next? But I'm I know we're in for a treat. Uh, the whole Inezion and and Kaz thing, that kind of threw me off. I was like, oh, maybe they're going to finally make up. But they're on their whole different journeys now. And that's that's exciting because that whole, uh, uh, you know, the whole thing with uh, uh, Mal, you know, kind of being the captain and all that nonsense. I could watch a spinoff with that crew. Like, I like everybody a part of that crew. And that's something I really am looking forward to because I did really enjoy the first few episodes of the season, you know, showing off, uh, you know, uh, Nikolai's ship and all that. I thought it was pretty cool seeing them on their little journey and, you know, taking out the snake and all that nonsense. It was pretty awesome. But, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what what comes next. That's really it. I mean, we start off the episode with Mal being her and... Uh, to see Alina having to kill him. Bro, I thought he was done. I really thought that was it. I was uh, thrown off. I was scared. I was nervous. But then they uh, pull off and we see um, from what what it looked like. It looked like she was using a technique that Bagra told her not, not to use. She said, promise me you wouldn't. I forget what it's called. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. So I'm not even going to try to say it. But the, uh, she promised her not to. You know, I said, don't do this. Please don't do it. And it looks like she did it. And, you know, Mal's back. Uh, Nina, of course, the look from Nina. Of course, Nina knew what was going on. She's just, like, staring at, at um, Alina the entire time. And I'm just like, okay, what, is, what does this mean? And uh, I, I didn't want to get too worried. But after the way she cut down that lady at the end of the, end of the episode and we see that little, like, smirk or whatever the hell that was, I'm nervous. I'm scared. This is, this is not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. But... I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. But, of course, her getting the little the little lift from Mal allowed her to take down the fold. Which, again, the fold, it's, it, it, this is one of the reasons why I like the show. Because it's like, throughout the show, I mean, the fold seems like the big problem. Like, the big deal, you know? And I thought it was going to be one of those things that we end up taking out the fold, like, at the end of the show. You know, I thought it was going to be like, we introduced the White Walkers in, in Game of Thrones. We don't deal with that you know, really until the end, you know, I, I thought it was going to be one of those big, big things, but to see us take it down, and the real issue is now, like, I guess, everyone kind of, uh, reacting to there being one king, basically, you know, like, the world isn't separated anymore, it's separated, uh, it's not separate anymore, I can't even talk, Every, you know, the wall's gone, uh, the fold is gone, so the next episode is just going to be everyone kind of coping and dealing with that, and it's going to be exciting considering how, you know, the new pill, or whatever they call it, is out, and we saw how dangerous some of these people are. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm really nervous. And we saw how strong that, that Grisha was at the end. And, oh, man, I'm scared. I mean, Alina, I mean, we, we got lucky there. Thank God she was there. But the amount of people that dropped because, you know, because she didn't act fast enough. Again, it's not her fault, but I'm saying she didn't act. Um, she wasn't there fast enough. So a lot of the people that died, I'm I'm, I'm worried about how much damage that's going to cost, you know, like, uh, I just know we're going to deal with a lot of that in the next episode, but I'm really excited. I don't know if there's going to be anyone that we're familiar with that's going to end up taking it, but I'm, I'm really excited to see how it plays out. Um, yeah, Alina bringing Mal back, uh, it leading to Kerrigan's death. We got some cool action scenes with, uh, uh, Anesh taking out some of the shadow monsters with the sword, which again is really cool. And especially now that Alina got control of the sword, it's, it's going to be cool to see that in the next season. Uh, really excited to see her wielding, wielding that especially, but, um, to see Alina end up taking out Kerrigan with that sword, you know, that sword is the only thing that can cut through shadows, I mean, it's just, it's really cool, so I'm, I was, you know, wasn't sure if they were gonna officially kill him off, because Kerrigan, I believe he'll be around in season three, not as much as he was in the first two seasons, but I, I'm sure maybe he'll come in at, as, like, a vision or something, or due to her using the, whatever Bagra told her not to use, I, I don't know, but I, I know we're gonna see Kerrigan again, and it's gonna be really exciting to see how they end up handling them, definitely excited for that, um, 
David, they I from what I know, they didn't show a body. I don't I don't remember seeing a body. So if they don't show a body, they're not dead. That's the rules. And seeing Jenny just all sad about David was just that was depressing. I hated that. I really did. So I'm just uh, I'm looking forward to seeing if if maybe someone took him for you know a bigger picture or whatever the deal is. But I'm excited to see him again. Uh, they need to let them be happy. It's kind of messed up, but um, I don't know what's going on. It's it's killing me. Um, like I said, Mal being a captain now. That's a cool little touch. I thought that was pretty awesome. My hair keeps touching the, the mic. Hopefully it's not making too much noise. But Inej and Kaz, a cool little moment between them. I know a lot of you were telling me when I kept saying, oh, they keep teasing us. Well, uh, I was learning a little bit about them, you know, about their relationship in the book and all that stuff. And, you know, I love when you guys fill me in with stuff, you know. So, again, a big thank you to all of, all of that. But um, the fact that they were even touching and, you know, she kind of i don't even want to get too into it but oh man that that was just a moment that that needed it needed to happen you know and i feel as though with the the you know when we jump to kind of like the present day and seeing kaz running with the crows and all that he seemed i don't want to say peaceful but you know it just he seemed not in such a dark place considering that's where he's been the entire show and it looks like he like he's gotten what he needed to get off his chest. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if, if I felt if you guys felt the same thing I felt, but it felt like a sense of peace, even though he didn't end up with the Nash and he didn't get that what like what he wanted. He just, you know, it just I don't know what it was, but I, I did enjoy what I did see at the end. So I'm looking forward to that storyline, you know, to, uh, in season three. There's just a lot. And the fact that we got so many different things now, it's not just the crows and then Alina's stuff. We got, you know mal stuff with their ship we got uh, alina and then we got the crow so we got a whole bunch of different stories cooked and uh cooking up so i'm really excited for that nikolai infected that is something i'm really i'm really curious about like this dude i don't even know what happened but i'm, I'm curious about that i don't know if you guys want to fill me in on that but nothing too i i don't want too many spoilers like anything that's going to be a big spoiler but if you guys want to Give me some information. I would really love, uh, you know, the more the more info, the better. You know, I, I want to be prepared for season three for sure. And I'm really glad that we were able to finish this entire season because we reacted to some of season one. I think like the first two or three episodes. But I, I think I had so many other shows that I was doing at the time. And I forget what the main reason was, but I ended up not finishing it. So being able to watch it on my own and being able to finish the entirety of season two with you guys has been a blast. And I do appreciate you guys watching this with me. I do. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to more. I mean, just let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how you're feeling. And I'm going to start uploading the, pa uh, videos to Patreon now, um, now that we are, you know, we got a lot of our stuff out of the way. And also, if you want to support me, you can go to the gaming channel as well as going to Twitch. I've been streaming a lot more because we have a lot of homework we're trying to catch up on and, you know, we're in school and all that. So instead of reacting to shows and doing all that right now, I'm taking a little break and I'm going to be focusing on just, you know, getting the stuff that I need to get done, you know, done. And then every now and then we'll, of course, we're going to try to post still a couple of videos a week, but not as much as we've been doing. And um, my goal is to stream when I can, because, you know, usually I like taking breaks from the homework and just playing video games. So why not stream it that way? I can still have content for you guys. I thought that would be cool. So um, just keep that in mind. And again, a big thank you to all of you guys uh, uh, for everyone that has invited me to the this little fandom, because I mean, I've fallen in love with uh, the show and everything and uh i don't even know if i do check out the books i don't i don't know where to start so let me know but um yeah i mean i i, I just want to say thank you for welcoming me and you guys are great and uh yeah feel free to talk to me patreon i i would appreciate the support severely i would really love it you know and be awesome but um so feel free to go over there we got some other shows you might be interested who knows um, we might try to organize it a little better, but if you go to post, you can just keep scrolling and find all the shows that I've, I have up there and just click on them and, and uh, it should bring you to Google and all that, you know, but uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to say. If you made it this far in the review, let me know. I love when people make it this far and are listening to me talking the entire time. So make sure you uh, let me know and I'll be sure to say thank you. And uh, again, feel free to comment. I look at all my comments. I, I sometimes can't get to all of them, but I do get to, I do read them all. So feel free to talk to me. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, again, big thank you to all of you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. And yeah, peace out.